The Reno Aloha Festival brought an island flair to Wingfield Park this weekend, and as Chris Buckley reports, hundreds of people came down to take in traditional Hawaiian culture. <laughs> The Reno Aloha Festival is a weekend filled with Hawaiian music, food, and performances at Wingfield Park. This is a Hawaiian garlic barbecue chicken with my niece's special sauce. This is the event's third year and biggest so far. Most of our food vendors actually had to go get more supplies because they planned for two days and we are on the second day, but they still needed a bit more because their food is very good, so they were kind of running out. It's a family-friendly festival designed to show the community what Hawaiian culture is all about. Some have come all the way from Hawaii to here, so it's very exciting to have everybody here. And for some, a way to share that culture firsthand, like these traditional Hawaiian tattoos. We have to take into account as cultural practitioners, because I'm a cultural practitioner, I'm like a cultural specialist. So when I do a tattoo, I have to look at a person's like lineage, their genealogy, what family guardians they had, who were their family guardians, what area they came from. There's a lot more that goes into it than, than just picking a nice picture and throwing it on. You can see that people value what Hawaii has to offer. And it's really interesting because I believe Hawaii has a, a large amount to offer the entire world. Um, if you look at how small our home is and you compare it to the amount of people that it's affected, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. It makes you super proud to be an indigenous person from there. It's a festival organizers hope gets bigger and better every year. Covering the story in downtown Reno, Chris Buckley, Channel 2 News.